the Monster Jam Grim Takedown Playset How To video, where we show you how to defeat this ghoulish Reaper. The playset comes with exclusive Gravedigger 164th skill truck, launcher, track, ramp, and Grim. <laughs> Easily assemble the playset, load in Gravedigger, and you're ready to face Grim. To take Grim down, it takes four shots, three to lower him down, and one to knock his head back. Grim has three activation points on his chest. Start at the bottom, then crash your way up. Load Gravedigger onto the track and slam into action. If you miss his chest, use the lever to adjust the ramp for a direct hit. Hit his chest two more times and you are ready to knock his head back. Adjust the ramp to the perfect angle, blast him down the track and hit him on the chain to finish Grim off. Grim has two areas where you can connect more Monster Jam playsets with the Zombie Madness playset, team up with the undead and launch into double devastation. With the champ ramp, get Son of a Digger in on the action and slam into a triple team attack. Easily reset Grim to keep the high flying, smashing and crashing Monster Jam action going. It's the Monster Jam Grim takedown playset. Get ready for epic stunts with Monster Jam Freestyle Force. This revolutionary wheelie balancing RC lets you pull off epic wheelie stunts with the push of a button and keep the action on two wheels. Nose wheelie. Press the top left nose wheelie button. Wheelie. Press the top right wheelie button. Quick to snap. For this stunt, your Freestyle Force Gravedigger should be in mode two. Press the throttle button forward, then back, then back to center. Snap wheelie. For this stunt, your Freestyle Force Gravedigger should be in mode two. Press the throttle back, then forward, then back to center. Wheelie combo. Press the tail wheelie button on the top right, then push the throttle toggle forward, then back. Now press the nose wheelie button on the top left and press the throttle toggle forward at the same time. Nose wheelie tornado. Press the nose wheelie button on the top left, then push the throttle toggle forward and push the steering toggle to the left. Reverse Donut into Wheelie. Push the throttle toggle back and the steering toggle to the left. Then push the throttle toggle forward. Poppers. Quickly push the throttle toggle forward and backward to make Freestyle Force Gravedigger hop. Reverse Slap Wheelie. Press the Tail Wheelie button on the top right twice. Nose Wheelie Endo. Press the Nose Wheelie button on the top left. Then push the left throttle toggle all the way forward, then all the way back. Then release the toggle. Reverse wheelie endo. Press the tail wheelie button on the top right. Then push the left throttle toggle back, then all the way forward. Then release the toggle. Now that you know how to pull off wheelie action, it's time for non-stop two-wheel stunts with your Gravedigger Freestyle Force. Visit MonsterJamRC.com to learn more tips and tricks.
The Monster Jam Rev and Spin. Pop into wheelies and spin into two wheel donuts. This video will show you how to operate and play with your Rev and Spin trucks so you can roll into epic Monster Jam stunts. It's your favorite Monster Jam trucks ready to roll into action. There's no assembly required with Rev and Spin trucks. All you have to do is remove it from the package. Make sure the wheelie bar is set before you start to stunt. To roll your Rev and Spin into action, just pull back and release. Your Monster Jam truck will speed forward and pop up into a spinning wheelie. Make sure the tires stay on the surface while you pull back your Monster Jam truck. The wheels will wind and engage the mechanism to send your truck rolling forward when you release it. Pull back until you hear a click. If the wheels aren't touching the surface while you pull back, the spring will not wind and engage and your truck won't have any power. If the wheels are touching while you pull back, but you lift them before you release the truck, the spring will cause the wheels to spin and you won't have any power when you release the truck. Make sure you pull back and release with the wheels on the surface. Reset the wheelie bar and you're ready to roll into more spinning stunts. Launch off ramps and jumps to amp up the action. Create your very own one-of-a-kind Monster Jam stunts. Now that you know how to play with your Rev and Spin trucks, you'll have lots of fun rolling into Monster Jam wheelie spinning stunts. Hi, I'm Barry Musauer, driver of the Zombie Monster Jam truck, and I got discovered at a big, huge RC monster truck race at the home of Grave Digger, that's right, Digger's Dungeon, in Poplar Branch, North Carolina, driving radio-controlled trucks just like your brand new Mega Grave Digger here. And I can't wait to show you guys how to drive an RC truck. So grab your Mega Grave Digger, and let's get started. Introducing the all-new, fully functional Mega Grave Digger RC from Spin Master. At over two feet long, this Grave Digger replica has unstoppable performance and can overcome almost anything. When opening the box, be careful not to tear or throw away the instruction sheet located here at the top of the packaging. Inside the box, you'll find one Mega Grave Digger monster truck, one remote control, and one instruction sheet. Mega Grave Digger comes with an attached USB charging cable. This is for easy recharging. To charge Mega Grave Digger, turn the vehicle off and slide the cover off the bottom of the truck. Then plug the USB charging cable into a wall adapter or computer. While your truck is charging, the headlights will blink, indicating it's still charging. When the headlights remain on, this indicates your truck is fully charged. Once your Mega Grave Digger is fully charged, unplug the USB cable, wrap it around the pegs in the cable compartment, and set the USB head in the provided slot. Then slide the panel back in place. To connect your controller, first place the batteries in the controller and turn on the power switch. Then turn on the vehicle. The light on the remote will turn solid green once it's connected. Once you're connected, it's time to monster jam. Push up on the left toggle to accelerate and pull down to reverse. Use the right toggle to steer left or right. Combine these actions to take your Mega Grave Digger almost anywhere. Your Mega Grave Digger can roll over almost anything, but to help it get over obstacles, create a little ramp to get it started. Like all professional Monster Jam trucks, a little care and maintenance is required to keep your truck driving straight into the action. After car crashing, high flying jumps, you may need to correct your truck's alignment. To do this, simply use the buttons located on the controller. If your truck is veering to the right, press the button on the left. If your truck veers to the left, press the button on the right. Do this until the alignment is correct. To see your Mega Grave Digger's best performance, drive on paved roads, cut grass, and other low trim surfaces. Always avoid water or wet areas. If your controller isn't pairing with your truck, turn off the truck and the controller and restart the pairing sequence. Remember to look for the light on the remote to go solid to ensure the truck and remote are connected. Always make sure your truck is fully charged and the batteries are fresh. Now it's time for some high-flying, gravity-defying Monster Jam fun. Visit MonsterJamRC.com to learn more about your Monster Jam truck. Get ready for epic stunts with Monster Jam Freestyle Force. This video will show you how to operate your Freestyle Force Grave Digger. First, remove the Freestyle Force Grave Digger, the controller, and instructions from the package. Make sure you don't throw out the instruction sheet. First, add two AAA batteries to the controller. 
Use a pen or similar small object to press down on the release button to slide down the battery cover. Install the batteries and replace the battery door. Do not remove or install batteries using sharp or metal tools. Now let's charge Gravedigger. Turn it upside down and make sure the power switch is in the off position. Remove the cover from the charging cable compartment. The truck is USB rechargeable. Just plug the cable into a computer to begin charging. The charging LED will flash when it's charging. When it stops flashing and stays on, the Freestyle Force Gravedigger is fully charged. Place the cable back in the charging compartment and close the door. It's time to connect the controller and Gravedigger. Turn on the vehicle and place it on a flat surface. Press the power button on the controller. The LED will blink while connecting and turn solid when connected. Now you're ready to roll! If your controller isn't pairing with your Monster Jam truck, turn it off and start the connection sequence again. Always make sure your vehicle is charged and the batteries are fresh. The controller has two toggles. The left is your throttle that controls speed. Push up to go forward and down for reverse. The right throttle is your steering. Press it left to turn left and right to turn right. Use both toggles to control your Gravedigger. If Gravedigger is veering left while you're driving straight, drive straight and press the right button under the right toggle multiple times. If it's drifting to the right, follow the same steps but press the left button under the throttle. Your controller has two modes, beginner and advanced. In beginner mode, stunts are push button only and speed is limited, but it's easier to stay in wheelies. Advanced mode allows maximum speed and manual stunt capability. It's recommended to use Freestyle Force Gravedigger outdoors, on pavement, and away from cars and roads while in advanced mode. Now, let's learn how to pull off epic freestyle stunts. Press the nose wheelie button to balance on the front wheels and drive around. Tap the nose wheelie button to bounce the Gravedigger on the front wheels. Press the tail wheelie button to balance on the back wheels to drive around. Tap the tail wheelie button to bounce the Gravedigger on the back wheels. If Gravedigger is not performing wheelies, clean the tires and make sure the vehicle is fully charged. Now that you know how to pull off wheelie action, it's time for non-stop two-wheel stunts with your Gravedigger Freestyle Force. And for optimum performance, don't forget to wipe down the tires before each use. Get ready for side-by-side -side speed and action with Monster Jam Racing Rivals RC Trucks. This video will show you how to operate your Gravedigger and Megalodon 124 RC Trucks and race head-to-head -head on a custom stunt course. Who will be the first to cross the finish line? It comes with one Gravedigger, one Megalodon, two controllers, six packed batteries plus two in each controller, an eight-piece track set with a start and finish line, and an instruction sheet. Make sure you don't throw out the instruction sheet. You'll need to learn how to operate your trucks to pull off epic racing action. Before you can start racing, you'll need to add batteries. The Racing Rival set comes with all the batteries you need for your Monster Jam trucks and controllers. Remove the tab from the back of the controller to activate the batteries. Just grab it and pull it out. Now add three AAA batteries to the trucks. Make sure the power is in the off position and use a screwdriver to remove the battery covers. Do not remove or install batteries using sharp or metal tools. Add the batteries and replace the battery covers. Now it's time to connect the controllers. Turn the power switch on the underside of the trucks into the on position and place on a flat surface. Push the left throttle lever up to the maximum position and back to the minimum position to complete the connection. Now you're ready to race. If your controller isn't pairing with your Monster Jam RC, turn off the vehicle and remove the batteries, then start the connection sequence again. Time to set up your course. The set comes with eight pieces and a start and finish line. Refer to the diagram on the back of the package or instruction sheet for an idea of how to set up the track. Or you can set them any way you want for a custom course. The controller has two toggles. The left is your throttle that controls speed. Push up to go forward and down for reverse. The right throttle is your steering. Press it left to turn left and right to turn right. Use both toggles to control your Gravedigger and Megalodon trucks and send them racing around the track. If Megalodon or Gravedigger is veering left while you're driving straight, turn the wheel alignment knob at the bottom of the vehicle counterclockwise. If it's drifting to the right, turn the knob on the bottom of the vehicle clockwise. When your truck slows down and stops working, it's time to replace the batteries. Open the battery door, remove the old batteries, and replace them with new ones. Close the battery door and you're ready to race! Now that you know how to drive your Gravedigger and Megalodon RC trucks, it's time to hit the track, press the throttle, and put these racing rivals to the test. Monster Jam trucks need a little love every now and then, even Mega Gravedigger. After car crashing, truck trashing jumps, you may need to bust out the old toolbox and change a tire. 
To replace a damaged tire, remove the exterior screw inside the wheel hub located here. Now, remove the tire from the truck body. Next, remove the two screws on the back of the tire located here and take out the hub from the tire core. Now it's time to install the new tire. Insert the hub with the pegs into the outside of the tire like this. Make sure the grooves line up with the tire. You'll know because it can only go in one way. Insert the back half of the hub on the other side of the tire. Make sure to align the grooves. Now, put the screws back, reattach the tire to the truck, and secure it in place with the screw, but don't over tighten the screws. Over tightening can strip the thread, so just make sure the screws are firmly in place. That's better. Now, get out there for some high flying Monster Jam action. Smash your way into the arena with Monster Jam, Gravedigger, Plush RC. Squeeze it, drive it, crash it. Now let's open the box and see what's inside. Unlock these fasteners to release your Gravedigger and set it free. Power up your Monster Jam RC by opening the battery door and placing three AAA batteries in the RC. Now place two AAA batteries in the controller. Turn on the vehicle and push any button on the controller to connect the two. Nice! Now, let's Monster Jam! Push the left button to drive forward and the right button to reverse and turn. Awesome! Now that you have the basics down, squeeze it, drive it, crash it! The soft body and tires are great for indoor play so you can crash all you want without damaging anything. If your Monster Jam Gravedigger Plush RC isn't responding, just turn it off and back on again to reconnect the controller to the RC. If it still isn't responding, take out all the batteries and repeat the connection process. Monster Jam trucks need a little care every now and then, especially after all that crashing. Spot clean your Gravedigger using a damp cloth, like this. But sometimes a tough machine needs a tough machine wash. Remove the plush portion by removing the screws here with a long screwdriver and sliding the plastic insert out from the plush body. Now just throw it in for a machine wash. Once it's clean and fully dry, slide the plastic insert back in. Make sure the larger side is inserted first and line up the post with the holes to screw it back in. Once you've secured it in place, squeeze it, drive it, crash it. And if you're driving more than one, make sure you connect them one at a time. When you're done playing, you can take your buddy with you anywhere. It's gravity defying, over the top, monster jam action with click and flip trucks. This video will show you how you can easily pull off over the top monster jam action with some of your favorite monster jam trucks. First, unbox your click and flip truck. It has all the cool detail of a real monster jam truck. Then just click and flip. Whoa, Gravedigger pulls off an epic front flip. When you press the back of the truck, you'll hear a click, letting you know the jumping mechanism is engaged. Max D is all about high-flying stunts. Let's make him do it. It's a Max D front flip, just like the real truck. You can stunt one truck at a time, go for a double truck flip, or click and flip a bunch of trucks for jumping, flipping, and crashing action. Now that you know how to use your click and flip trucks, you can easily recreate over-the-top action of your favorite Monster Jam trucks.